Okay, well, we'll see if this works. My morning meeting may not be loaded and it's because it's not working for me, but we'll see. I'll make this one short, so hopefully it'll, it'll work. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's a crazy day today. All right, so today, if we had our morning little small group session, we would be talking about math. So this actually works out nicely because I wanna go over your math kit here. Okay, you have this and that stuff that I gave you. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's look at it together, okay? Inside your math kit, you're going to find some manipulatives. You're gonna find some snap cubes that look like this. We don't need those today. You're gonna to find Play-Doh. You don't need this today. You're gonna to find some different shaped blocks. They're called pattern blocks. You don't need those today. You're going to find some squares that look like this. You may need these today. Set those aside. You're going to find popsicle sticks. You could use them today, but set it aside. You could find um, some dice. You don't need those today. You would find some little red and yellow counters. You could use those. I'll think about which one we want to use in a minute. Then inside of that, you have some other things. These are some, I use these for adding, but we're not gonna use that right now. Unless we don't need that. And these are some addition and subtraction cards. We don't need that. We have a hundred numbers board. Usually I will use this when we have our math groups because we'll practice counting together to 100, but we're not gonna do that today. But usually you'll need this one, okay? These two things, oh, there's a couple more things in here. So much stuff, right? All right, this is a five frame because it has five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five frame. This is a 10 frame because it has 10 blocks. It has five on the top and five on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a 10 frame, okay? If I count them all together, I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 frame. This is called a number track. We will use this today because we're going to be working on our counting to 10. We're going to start smaller down here, but counting to 10 and recognizing those numbers. Then I like to use these cards a lot too, so don't lose any of them because if you lose one, it messes it all up, okay? These are number cards all the way to 20, okay? All right. So first, let's do a little warm up. Get your number track out and let's put your finger on one and we're gonna count to 10 and then we're gonna count backwards to one. Ooh, can we do it? Let's try it. Put your finger, you got it? Put your finger on one and you're going to point as we count, okay? Stay with it and point as you count. The reason you're pointing and counting at the same time is because you're also learning to identify, to recognize those numbers, okay? Let's do it, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. Can you count backwards with me? That's kind of a challenge but we'll try it, okay? It's like, it's like a rocket ship taking off. They count down and then they take off. So we'll take off on the rocket ship. Are you ready? Start at 10 and we're gonna count backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, so this is your number strip. We counted to 10 and we counted backwards to 10. These numbers are important because they're not just something that we say when we're counting, they actually mean something. If I say the number two, could you show me two fingers? Show me two fingers. It should look like this, two fingers. So two, this number represents this number. So I could show you two with my fingers. I could show you two with a dice. I could show you two with, let me get, see, this is why I love these little math kits. Two with popsicle sticks. I could show you two with some counters. Counters out. So those numbers represent the amount of something, okay? 
when we are looking at numbers, we're going to be counting them. So I have a little anchor chart here and it is counting strategies. There's different ways that we can count that can help us be really good counters. Okay. And they, they make us go faster. Okay. So I want to show you those. I'm going to scoot you up. See if I make that squeaky noise. All right. So the first counting strategy is to count out loud. That's what we did when we were counting on our number track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are counting out loud. So sometimes when we hear it, it helps us know what the next number is. Like when you guys were counting for me and you'd go 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You hear it and so you know what the next number is. So that's why counting out loud is a great strategy to use when you are counting. Another one is to touch and count. Sort of like you see here, they're touching and counting the teddy bears. One, two, three. If you touch it, sometimes it helps you not lose your place. Like if I have my counters out, why don't you get your counters out? And if you laid them out, I'm gonna turn my, while you get your counters out, the red and yellow ones, I'm gonna get my document camera set up so you can kind of see me touch and count. Hold on, I'll turn it this way. It'll take me a minute to get my TV on so you can get your counters ready. Let me move my stuff. Still trying to load the morning message. It's not working for me, I'm sorry. That storm yesterday sure messed everything up, didn't it? Put all that on the floor. Be nice and messy. Okay, I'm gonna get my counters. I'm putting it on the table. Let's see if you're gonna turn on here. The light is on. Oh, look, you see my counters on the screen here? Let's see if I can move it. There we go. All right, so if I have, and I'm just gonna put a few out right now. Okay, so say I have those counters right there. So the thing is to move and count. So it's kind of messy and hard to count. So what I would do, I'm gonna turn you just a little bit so you can see my face too, is I'm gonna to touch them as I count. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Touching it helps me not lose my place and to count. All right, now I'm gonna turn you back this way. Let's go back to my chart. Ooh, this one is the one I'm definitely gonna need right now. Move and count. So if you look at my counters, they're all bunched up. If I move them and count with it, it makes it much easier. Okay, I'm gonna put all of them in there so you can see all of them. So see, it's kind of all jumbled up. But if I move them and count them, it might help. So I have them in a pile right here and I'm gonna move them and count them. Watch how I do it. You do it with me. You have your counters, you can do it too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I moved them and counted them. So that's another strategy you can use to count your objects. Ready for the next one? I like this one. Because this one I feel combines touch and count, move and count, line them up and count. So there's my counters. So this time I'm going to Put them in a line and count them. Okay, so I've got them in a pile, and I'm gonna put them in a line. One, I'm gonna move up just a touch right there so you can see a little bit better. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It keeps it nice and neat in my mind and I can see that I counted all of them and I didn't miss any. So that's a good one, okay? Now, the next strategy, count on. This is whenever I see a number and then I count on from there. This one, I will tell you, is a little bit trickier. This is for people that are ready for this. So this is like harder stuff here. So, and I use the dice as an example. So I see how many dots are there? Two, right? So if I'm, I have two and I want to add five more to that, right? I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted on to that two. And this is something that we work to get to because this is really hard to do. Like when we get to the end of kindergarten, 
we'll have this down. So don't stress out if this is too hard right now. This is harder, okay? So when we count on, we take the number, so see the number, four, okay? Four, and I say I wanna count on two more. So I've got four, five, six. That's counting on, okay? Then the last strategy is a checking strategy, and I like this one too, okay? Let me try to show you. It is to recount. It's whenever you have the number and you're gonna count it again. So we had on here that we said that there was 10. I'm gonna check that and I'm gonna count it again. That is recounting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Which was great because it was already lined up, ready to go. I could just go down the line and touch and count. So those are counting strategies that will help us when we are doing our math. So today, you're not with me, so what you could do to work on this too is you can count your counters and see how many counters I put in there and put them back in your bag after you count them. You could count your, what did I have? You could count these, count how many reds, how many blues, and put it back in your bag. Don't lose them, okay, because you got to keep them all together. You could count your popsicle sticks and put them back in your bag. So counting different things that you have at home. You could count how many chairs you have sitting around your table. You could count how many doors are at your house. So find different things that you can count today. That's what I'm gonna have you do today. And hopefully tomorrow all our technology will work. And oh, and be sure when you are done, see how my bag's empty? I've gotta put everything back in so whenever it is math time, it is ready to go. So after you get done counting, put it all back in the bag. Okay, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. He's all in the bag. I'm gonna be ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, all right. See you tomorrow.